this table Food for all who hunger And drink for all who thirst Drink of his love Wine of salvation You shall live forever In Jesus Christ the Lord You who labor for justice you who labor for peace, you who steady the plow in the field of the Lord, come and be filled here at this table, food for all who hunger and drink for all who thirst. Drink of his love, wine of salvation. You shall live forever in Jesus Christ the Lord. Come and be filled here at this table. Food for all who hunger and drink for all who thirst. Drink of his love, wine of salvation. You shall live forever in Jesus Christ the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, may the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Well, welcome everybody to, on this beautiful summer day to what a beautiful celebration that finally our children are able to receive their first communion. And I know children, you've been very patient, you've waited a very long time, but there's a saying that says, hunger is the tastiest spice. And you know how it is when you've waited a long time for a really special dinner, maybe on Christmas or Easter or something, how much better it tastes when you've been waiting and you're hungry. So let this be a beautiful moment for you to receive Jesus Christ in the Eucharist. I'm very pleased to have Deacon Bob with us and Deacon Paul Zeller. Deacon Paul was just ordained yesterday. This is his first day as a deacon, so congratulations, Deacon Paul. As we prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries, we call to mind the fact that we're sinners and that we need God's mercy. Lord, you came to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, you we adore you we glorify you we give you thanks for your great glory lord god heavenly king O oh god almighty father lord jesus christ only begotten son lord god lamb of god Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. 
for you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who show the light of your truth to those who go astray, so that they may return to the right path, give all who for the faith they profess are accounted Christians the grace to reject whatever is contrary to the name of Christ and to strive after all that does it honor. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, just as from the heavens the rain and snow come down and do not return there till they have watered the earth, making it fertile and fruitful, giving seed to the one who sows and bread to the one who eats, so shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. My word shall not return to me void, but shall do my will achieving the end for which I sent it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The seed that falls on good ground will yield a fruitful harvest. The seed that falls on good ground will yield a fruitful harvest. You have visited the land and watered it. Greatly have you enriched it. God's water courses are filled. You have prepared the grain, the seed that falls on good ground will yield a fruitful harvest. Thus have you prepared the land, drenching its furrows, breaking up its clods, softening it with showers, blessing its yield. The seed that falls on good ground will yield a fruitful harvest. You have crowned the year with your bounty and your paths overflow with a rich harvest. The untilled meadows overflow with it, and rejoicing clothes the hills. The seed that falls on good ground will yield a fruitful harvest.
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, I consider that the sufferings of this present time are as nothing compared with the glory to be revealed for us. For creation awaits with eager expectation the revelation of the children of God. For creation was made subject to futility, not of its own accord, but because of the one who subjected it in hope that creation itself would be set free from slavery to corruption and share in the glorious freedom of the children of God. We know that all creation is groaning in labor pains even until now. And not only that, but we ourselves who have the first fruits of the Spirit, we also groan within ourselves as we wait for adoption, the redemption of our bodies. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The seed is the word of God, Christ is the sower. All who come to him will have life forever. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. On that day, Jesus went out of the house and sat down by the sea. Such large crowds gathered around him that he had to go into a boat and sat down, and the whole crowd stood along the shore. And he spoke to them at length in parables, saying, A sower went out to sow, and as he sowed, some seed fell on the path, and birds came and ate it up. Some fell on rocky ground, where it had little soil. It sprang up at once, because the soil was not deep, and when the sun rose, it was scorched, and it withered for lack of roots. Some seed fell among the thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked it. But some seed fell on rich soil and produced fruit, a hundred or sixty or thirty fold. Whoever has ears ought to listen. The Gospel of the Lord. So there's a few interesting things in this Gospel today, and I'd like to direct them more to our children who are receiving First Communion in particular. I'm not sure if any of you have ever helped in the garden, maybe with your parents or your grandparents or been on a farm or maybe you know some farmers or things like that. But it says here that uh, the sower, who was Jesus, was throwing the seed all over the place, 
on the, on the rocks and on the thorns and in the field. And we know that anybody who's planting something would never do that. That's kind of crazy to throw the seed all around. Instead, you'd say, okay, if I want to grow these tomatoes here or these zucchini here, I put the seeds right where I want them to grow. I don't put them anywhere that I don't think they're likely to grow. So the first thing is that seems strange. But what does it mean? What it means is that the seed is Jesus himself, and the seed is the word of God, and the seed is God's love itself, everything that he desires for you. And he's so generous that he doesn't just restrict it to one little place. He puts it everywhere so that everyone can have it. And he wants you especially to receive the seed of his love and especially to receive the, uh, the Holy Eucharist today. He is so generous. And the second is about the ground. You know, you would be careful to, if you're planting seeds, to make sure that the ground is good. But so Jesus lets us be, uh, uh, lets that be our problem, so to speak. And what I mean is this, the ground is you and me. The seed is Jesus, and you and me are the ground that we're gonna, that seed is getting planted into. And so it's up to us. We're actually able to, if the ground, if you're gonna plant seeds in the ground to grow something, if there's weeds, well, you take them out. And if they're rocks, you take them out. You do everything you can to make sure that it's really good ground for things to grow. And so you're that ground and I'm that ground. So what we need to do then is say, okay, what am I doing to make sure that Jesus can come to me easily, that I'm welcoming him and making myself ready for him? So we want to always throughout our lives to be prepared for Jesus, to be really good ground. And then the third thing, it says that the ground that's really good, you and me, is going to give a hundredfold and thirtyfold and sixtyfold. That means for every seed that's planted, you'll get a hundred new plants or sixty new plants or thirty. Well, anybody who knows something about uh, farming or gardening, and I don't really, to be honest with you, but anybody who knows something about it knows that that's crazy. That's an incredible amount of plants for one seed, usually maybe ten or nine or eleven. So it's another way of saying that from one little seed, God can do so, so much. If you receive Jesus, he wants to give you his love. He wants to give you himself in the Eucharist. He wants you to be ready to receive him. And if you are, and if I am, then we'll give, we'll produce so much. We'll do so much for Jesus in our families, in our lives, in the world around us. So that's the message today, boys and girls, as you receive your first communion for the first time that Jesus is coming to you. He's so happy and generous when he comes to you. He wants you always to be ready, like good ground that's taken good care of, ready to receive him. And he wants great things to happen in you and through you and for the whole world, just because you receive Jesus every week at least in the Holy Eucharist. So we're so happy for you today. We're so proud of you today and so joyful to share Jesus Christ, his own body with you today. We're so happy to receive Jesus today, and we're happy to profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We're inspired by the Word of God, and so we turn now to our Lord with our many needs and the needs of all of our brothers and sisters throughout the whole world. For the Church, 
that we may emulate the model of the sower and that the seed we sow may produce good fruit a hundred or sixty or thirty fold. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the thorns of disease, hunger, and poverty that have a chokehold on the most vulnerable may be cleared away, thereby allowing the fruits of God's goodness to flourish in all corners of the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an end to gun violence, that we may collectively turn toward peace and bring forth a world without the senseless loss of life in shootings. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the 22 men that were ordained to the permanent diaconate this weekend, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are or will be receiving the sacraments of initiation, especially our first Eucharist children, our confirmation teens, and our RCIA candidates, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our health care workers, our first responders, and all of our service men and women who guard our freedom throughout the world. And for all of the prayers in our parish intention book, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of the intentions we hold in the silence of our hearts, We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of those who are ill, that the Lord may strengthen them, especially William Maurer, Kathy Headley, Albert Marsico, Doris Paisler, Mary Kenny, Judy Murtaugh, Lucia Cigliano, and for those who are critically ill due to the coronavirus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died recently, especially Lorenzo Magliacchetti, Maureen Daly, Joan Staub, Stella Russell, and for those who have died recently as a result of the coronavirus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for Michael Dillon, whom we remember at this Eucharist in a special way, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, we turn to you in our time of need. Instill your word ever more deeply in us so that we may bear fruit to be shared with others. Grant this in all our prayers through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Ante vida, cuerpo del Señor, cup of blessing, blood of Christ the Lord. At this table, the last shall be first, por servir. Porque Dios es amor. We are the dwelling of God, fragile and wounded and weak. We are the body of Christ, called to be the compassion of God. Pan de vida. Cuerpo del Señor, cup of blessing, blood of Christ the Lord. At this table, the last shall be first. Poder servir, porque Dios es amor. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. 
Look upon the offerings of the Church, O Lord, as she makes her prayer to you, and grant that when consumed by those who believe, they may bring ever greater holiness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by his birth he brought renewal to humanity's fallen state, and by his suffering canceled out our sins. By his rising from the dead he has opened the way to eternal life, and by ascending to you, O Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth, are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest Hosanna in the highest You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith When we eat this bread And drink this cup We proclaim your death, O Lord Until you come again Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your Church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Joseph, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, 
we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us For those who were, maybe it's the first time back to church since we're doing the masks and all that, just to uh, explain a little bit further, uh, when you come up for communion, uh, please do sanitize your hands first and with your own sanitizer, but if not, there's sanitizer over by the baptismal font and on the back table and this table here and this table here. And then come up single file, uh, either in the middle or on one of the two side aisles after the children, First Communion children have received. Uh, keep a distance from one another. And please have your mask on the whole time, covering your mouth and your nose. And when you come forward, please, with your mask still on, put your hands out flat. We'll put the body of Christ on your hands. Uh, we'll be wearing masks and we'll have sanitized too. Your hands out flat, mask still on. Receive the body of Christ in your hand. Then please step away with your mask still on. And then once you've taken a few steps away, lift your mask and receive the body of Christ and replace your mask and go back to your seat and sanitize. So 
I'm sorry it's all so messy and complicated, but that's our reality right now. We just all have to do the best we can, so thank you for that. But one last thing, for those who are gluten-free, I'll have gluten-free hosts here in the middle aisle. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Many faces, the young and the old, gathered as one in our God. Throughout history, the stories retold, gathered as one in our God. Like those come before us, we listen and learn we remember the promise and await your return. So without hesitation, a new generation proclaims the salvation of God. Gathered as one in Jesus, your Son, lifting our voices in praise, we know and believe and long to receive the bread that is strength for our days gathered as one. Many pilgrims sharing at feast gathered as one in our God all are welcome, the greatest and the least, gathered as one in our God. Like those come before us, we listen and learn. We remember the promise and await your return. So without hesitation, a new generation proclaims the salvation of God. Gathered as one in Jesus, your Son, lifting our voices in praise. We know and believe and long to receive the bread that is strength for our days. Gathered as one.
Like those come before us, we listen and learn. We remember the promise and await your return. So without hesitation, a new generation proclaims the salvation of God. Gathered as one in Jesus, your Son, lifting our voices in praise. We know and believe and long to receive the bread that is to rank for our days, gathered as one. I am the vine, you are the branches, I live in you, and you in me, turn to me, I am the keeper of the world. Live in me, I'll live in you, and my words will stay with you. Ask what you will of me. I am glorified in you, in your bearing of this fruit. You are my child forever and I will live in you you are the vine we are the branches we live in you and you in us we turn to you you are the keeper of us all. Live in me, I'll live in you, and your words speak ever true. Ask what you will of me. You are glorified in me, where I go and when I speak, I am your child forever, and I will live in you. Live in me, I'll live in you, and my words will stay with you. Ask what you will of me. I am glorified in you, in your bearing of this fruit. You are my child forever and I will live in you live in me I'll live in you 
and your words speak ever true. Ask what you will of me. You are glorified in me, where I go and when I speak. I am your child forever, and I will live in you. Let us pray. Having consumed, having consumed these gifts, we pray, O Lord, that by our participation in this mystery, its saving effects upon us may grow through Christ our Lord. So before the blessing, just congratulations again to our First Communion children, and let this be the first of many, many times you receive the Eucharist, at the very least, every single Sunday, but maybe every day if you like. And I know for the short time ahead, it'll be more difficult to do it every week, but certainly at least to be watching on Facebook or YouTube if you can't actually come to church, but try and come to church and receive Jesus in the Eucharist who desires to be so close to you. And thank you to all who made this celebration uh, possible. It was a lot to get together after the postponement, so uh, uh, compliments to uh, Mrs. Maura Rome and her whole group, and uh, deacons, musicians. I, I missed Kyle, our video guy, who's been with us every single day for every single Mass since we closed in March, so we can never uh, say thanks enough to him. And who did I? I missed a bunch of others. I apologize to you, but thank you all. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Lord, peace, glorify the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Go out, go out to all the world. Tell the good news. Tell the good, good news. Go out, go out to all the world. Tell the good news, tell the good, good news. Go out, go out to all the world. Tell the good news, tell the good, good news. Go out, go out to all the world. And tell the good news, tell the good, good news. Go out, go out to all the world. And tell the good news, tell the good, good news.